Hi guys, Owen Davis here from goldshake.com and in my hands I've got two brand new clubs from Titleist. Now, it's the first iron release they've had for two years and it follows on from the 716 line and not surprisingly it's called 718. And in my hands I've got the new CB and MB. So, um, very much their forwards offering, um, very much for better players. Um, if you're a good ball striker you might want to look at these but they've also got some, some options which we talked about in another video um, with some good looking heads with a lot more help. But I'm gonna start with the MB. Now, there's not tons to say about this. There's certainly not a lot of new technology in here. Um, it's very much in the same mold, very head, very similar head shape to the 716. So there's not much of an upgrade there. Um, they have changed the technology a little bit in the sole. So they've, they've just, you can just see they've beveled off uh, the front of the sole and that's just to improve the turf interaction a bit. Now, putting this down, Absolutely tiny head, <laughs> really, really quite scary to look at. Um, a bit of a butter knife, uh, it has to be said. So if you're a purist, this is definitely one for you. If you're not a great ball striker, um, you really want to be looking at something with a little bit of help. But I'm going to give this a hit first up. Okay, it's absolutely lovely feel off the bat straight away. As you'd expect with a, a pure forged head, it's a single billet uh, of steel, so you really are... Um, right at the top end in terms of um, you know the, the blade and, and, the, and the feel you're going to get off this, the workability, the way you can move it around, but you're going to get absolutely zero forgiveness. Now, you can just see it's really short head as well. Uh, you know, to, to the other side of the grooves towards the toe, there really is, there's nothing there. It is tiny. Um, quite a high toe as well, quite a high heel, uh, which I really do like. So quite a square head in, in that respect. Going to give it another go. Yeah, I've hit that one good. Um, it's, it's a beautiful club, absolutely fantastic, but um, not one that will be going into my bag. So looking at the CB, um, here you can see straight away, there's, it's, it's still a very small head, but there's quite a bit of help. You can see there's a slightly thicker top line, um, slightly bigger, bigger head, the toe slightly more rounded, just softening the head a little bit. Um, as you put it down, you, you really can see there's a lot more help there. Now, straight away with Titleist, there's quite a bit of difference here compared to the CB previously. So they're working on uh, you know, improving the MOI on these irons, making them a bit easier to hit, certainly improving the ball speed and off centre strikes. And they've done this by adding tungsten into the toe and the heel, something they've done in the 716, but really trying to actually improve that uh, into the 718. So I'm gonna give this a first go. Okay, I've not hit that one as well as the MB, but actually it's still flown really well. I've hit the green with it. So it's quite a bit easier to hit and you can feel the help straight away. Now what they've done differently um, compared to the previous model in this, they've actually put a tungsten cap onto the heel and the toe. And that's meant that they can get the tungsten further into the heel and toe and really improve the MO, MOI that way. So it's quite a big difference actually. Just looking, gonna hit another one here. Okay, yeah, again, didn't hit that great, but it's still flown nicely. I wouldn't have got those results with the MB. Hit the green again with a miss hit. So, you know, there's actually quite a big difference there between the CB uh, and MB. And, and it's also noticeable, they've, they've got a bulge at the back here, which is actually a cavity pocket. So they've actually moved that weight, not only into the heel toe, but further back as well, um, and a bit lower. So there's quite a bit more help there. So you can actually think about mixing and matching these in, whether it's, um, putting these in the longer irons, or you might even want to actually look at the AP range uh, in the longer irons, mix the CBs in and then the MBs right at the bottom end of the set, which I know a lot of tour players in a tour validation process, uh, the seeding process, have actually gone with that route. So they've actually mixing in three or four different irons into the set, but putting the CBs and MBs in. So I think seven out of 10 uh, PGA and European tour players are now using mixed sets. So uh, it's really is a common theme out there. So guys, I'd love to know what you think about these, whether you're excited, uh, about the, the new MBs, uh, whether you feel that you can put them into play or whether you're going to mix and match the CBs and MBs in and maybe even the AP lineup as well. So uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like on YouTube. And, and also if you're watching YouTube and you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.